Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the internet and the social media provide young people as well as uh, all people with a, a wide range of uh, information and benefits and opportunities as well to empower themselves in a variety of ways. Now, young people can maintain social um, connections, as you all know, and um, support networks uh, the, uh, that otherwise wouldn't be possible. And they also can access more information uh, than ever before than the older generation. And uh, the communities and social interactions young people from online can be invaluable for bolstering and developing young people's self-confidence and social skills. Now, social networking services can provide an accessible and powerful um, toolkit for highlighting and also acting on issues and causes, whether political, social, cultural, and so on, that affect the whole society. Social networks also uh, can be uh, used for organizing activities, events, or groups, showcase issues and opinions, make wider audience even more available. Now, we're going to talk about uh, social media, the positive and uh, the negative uh, sides. And uh, there has been an initiative called uh, Mediawi Initiative. We have now two members uh, from uh, the uh, Mediawi Initiative. We have Basma Abdel Hamid. Hello, Basma. And also uh, Mustafa Mohammed. Uh, hello, how Mustafa. Are you? Yeah, great. Hello, Mustafa. So, hello, how are you? If we can start by saying, what is Mediawi? Yeah, what is media? Okay, yeah. so uh, media starts by in the beginning as an initiative, as in group, and it was in the much and you know it, it wasn't that much a famous uh, initiative. But over time and during really really short time, it became one of the most fastest growing groups. Now we're thousands and thousands, and social media is like uh, you know small family as always we're trying to say it's a small family who are trying to help one another and trying to help each other uh, whatever your experience that you have you can help people with and uh, free totally free without any co-pays or any something you're gonna pay okay that what is. about you Basma how do you see it and how did you join the initiative well actually uh, the initiative itself uh, didn't start right away it started first as a group Abdul Rahman Shahab started it in October 2016 and uh, by the beginning of January, it started to become more popular because, you know, uh, the spirit of volunteering. Uh, so, um, how did we join? Uh, it was all about social media in the beginning. Uh, but it was helping people, uh, answering their questions. And after that, uh, you know, people started to become more interested, uh, very motivated to learn. So, what happened is that they needed more people to join the team. And not just in social media and digital marketing, but also other skills such as English and soft skills and that's where uh, Mustafa and I came and joined because we're teaching English. Okay. So you basically volunteer. Yeah, sure. As young men and women on social media, you can say that I can teach English, I can teach Spanish, maybe Arabic, yeah. or any other expertise that I do have. Yeah, and sure. people online start to interact with you and start saying, you know, it is, but I want to learn that or this. It is, but it's not that easy, by the way. Uh -huh. you know? so, so how it goes? It's okay. Look, uh, you know, uh, I cannot accept anyone comes and say, I can teach you Arabic and English and whatever it was. Yes. Sure, it's okay. You're great. You're going to teach us something. So how do you build the relationship between you and the receiver? Yeah, sure. We ask. We ask him. We, it's not about testing, but we try to know him closely. That's not anyone, not because we're free that anyone can say anything. No. Mm. If you want to say something, you have to be qualified to say it because there are a lot of people, actually thousands of people that are trying to listen to you and they're going to obey your uh, orders or whatever so evaluate, it was. Uh, yeah, sure. We have to evaluate him, your experience, your qualifications, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. You have to know him closely. Okay. Now I want to ask you about um, your target audience. Is there a specific, um, specific, would I say, um, age group or age category? Because we all know that the younger generation are totally dependent in every aspect of their lives on social media and, and applications, of course. But what about uh, a little bit older uh, people? Well, of course, uh, younger people use social media more than the older generation. So that would be, you know, a, like a great chance for them not just to use it to socialize with others without, you know, uh, a, a real target. So when we have a group like Social Media, we uh, we help others to learn the the skills that they really need. You know, like it's not just about um, uh, we're just, you know, wandering around on Facebook doing nothing. But actually, no, we we want to learn about social media. 
media and like everybody needs to learn about social media because you know this is using Facebook professionally using LinkedIn Twitter all other platforms on social media mm -hmm. so when they learn it they become better and so they can get you know better job opportunities mm -hmm. better lifestyle so this is a non profitable initiative yeah sure yes it's all about volunteering so how do you make money how do you make time for yourself to be having a job on a daily basis or maybe a weekly basis and at the same time volunteering and helping others okay that's cool uh, let me elaborate that yes first we're not one in the same career for example we're talking about English or we're talking about social media digital marketing I'm not the only one in the team who speaks about digital marketing there are many alternatives we are maybe five maybe three in English we are three in social media or digital marketing we are four five six whatever it was so it depends on collaborative team so once the one who can afford time who can afford his abilities or his qualifications to help people at the same time so he's gonna be the one we choose not one better than one it depends on your work your time and so on we have many alternatives that is and about money, uh -huh. that we are asking about how can you we do have jobs? Money? Other yeah, jobs? Yes. Sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, All of us we have jobs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, of us, some of us have two jobs, not one. Yes. It's okay. Don't worry about money. <laughs> Okay. Uh, do you provide training for uh, younger generations? I'm speaking about the age of 15 and 16. So do you provide training for them? Well, uh, we're not limited to one age. Like we don't say that this course is just for people who are 30 or 20. No, everyone who can learn this skill and they need it for their uh, career, they can come. If they are 15 and they would like to join, it would be great. Mm -hmm. And how do you promote uh, your, your idea? Uh, through social media, you know, like uh, we have the group, like we have more than 35,000 people on the group and that was, you know, uh, it became very popular in such a short time, like since January it became more popular. So uh, because of the work that we have done on the group so far, we did not just start um, we don't just have online courses, but we have live videos from people al around the world, not just Egypt. And we also have um, offline workshops because we did not feel satisfied with just offering online content, but we found that people are interested to have offline workshops where they can come and practice and discuss with the trainers. Okay. We're talking about a very big world because when it comes to social media, if I want to make or cook a meal, I go online, I go on YouTube, for example, to check uh, the recipes. Um, if I uh, want to uh, um, get close to my school friends, I search uh, for them uh, on social media. If I want to learn how to play an instrument or how to dance and so on, tutorials, they are on social media. If there is a particular event, marriage or birthday, people now make the events on, yeah. on, on social, social media. media. Yeah, so we're yeah. talking about a very, very huge uh, world that could also have a, a negative effect. It has the, the positive side, as I mentioned. Um, people exchange views, people talk about politics, about culture, about upcoming events, about ac activities, and so on and so forth. How do you handle uh, all these issues? Well, uh, we have group regulations, you know, like uh, we are talking about social media and any skills that are relevant, but anyone who's trying to open a discussion that is not relevant, we have group admins and we have regulations saying that uh, topics such as politics, religion, sports, any controversial topics that will not benefit anybody mm. are not allowed on the group. So we do not allow it from the beginning. Mm. Uh, and so we, we limit the discussion to what is really useful to people on the group. Okay. And there is something awesome beside that, you know, uh, when you put regulations or policies for some places and the people themselves feel that they are the honor of the group, it's not about admins or not. Uh, they became your admins, you know, anyone, any member of the group says something that is relevant or something like that is going to mention any one of the admins. So totally controlled or not totally you can say almost controlled exactly yeah sure <laughs> so you do have about 35,000 members on your group yes yeah. and in such a short that? time yes you know, it's growing rapidly a few months yes yeah, a few months We're talking a few months how yeah. do you handle uh you know uh the the main idea of the group that we are one family mm -hmm. it started like that and anyone enters you know the social awareness or the uh, you can say the group awareness most of people working like the one family, we are helping each other, we're helping one another, no, no matter what it was. So they feel like they're the owners. We don't handle. The people themselves, they handle it. Yes, but as Hala said, anything right now on social media can be discussed. 
politics, yeah, sure. sports, cultural, uh, everything and anything can be discussed on social media and there can be interaction between about thousands or maybe millions of people at the same time on the same uh, social media content maybe. So is this a good thing or a bad thing in your opinion? Okay, look, it, uh, you know, it has their bros and coons, but mm -hmm. let me say about social media, well, that's what I was talking about. So it's the point of specification. In the group, we know, hey man, if you want to market anything, if you want to do anything that's not relevant to the group, it's okay. We, we have no problem, but mm -hmm. out of here. You cannot sell meat and jewelry shop. It's, it's not relevant. Understand what I mean? So it's about but do you have aspirations to be transforming the online content to the real life, Basma? Yes, that's what we actually started to do. That's uh -huh. the initiative in the group. Uh, we have had like three events so far. We're trying to go through uh, different cities in the country, uh, different government rates, trying to give offline workshops. We're starting with social media and digital marketing topics. And uh, by God's word, we're going to uh, have more skills uh, spread around. And by the way, it's not about just free uh, information. You know, we have, uh, if, uh, you know, if you have no idea about Udemy or Yoda City, our online courses, you know, uh, multinational platform for courses. And we have some people, they are lecture ready on these courses and they have, uh, you know, like courses by thousands of dollars. They give it for free mm -hmm. sometimes. Okay. Well, we wish you best of luck uh, for thank this you. initiative. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank uh, Basma Abdel Hamid. Thank you very yeah, much, thank Basma. You so much. And uh, Mustafa Muhammad. Thank you very much. Thank best of luck to you guys. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. You. thank, thank you. you so much. And uh, stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back after a short break to resume this edition of Nile Cruise.